Hello my Chaos Theory fans, I'm the Camping Theorist. Today, we are going to be looking at a very underrated theory. This is the lettuce theory. To help me explain this theory better, I'm going to be bringing on my friend, the Pondering Brooklander. Hello everyone and thank you for having me. Though I'm normally known for my love of Brooklyn. But today, we're going to be talking about the lettuce. But this is not just any lettuce. This is the same lettuce that the Camp Cretaceous squad ate for 12 days while they were on board the cargo ship. Now normally you can't survive eating lettuce for 12 days straight. But this isn't any normal lettuce. These are in fact human dinosaur hybrid lettuce. And I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. We actually see Kenji's dad growing them in the previous scene. This also explains why we always see Kenji throwing these lettuces around. Kenji can't stand that his dad decided to disown him in order to look after his lettuce sons. On the cargo ship, we see Kenji knock over a crate of these poor little guys. And if you play this scene backwards, you can actually hear the lettuce screaming for help. See? I'm not making this up. This is because these are no normal lettuce. This isn't the only hardship that these lettuce face as they get knocked over again and again. But hey, it could be worse. You could be a mango. Those poor, poor mangoes. We already know that Biosyn were working on genetically altered crops in Dominion. It's not a stretch to think that Kenji's dad, a person that has already gotten mixed up with the Manticorp, would be doing something similar, right under everyone else's noses. And furthermore, we can see that the dinosaurs are actually engaging in trade, seen here by by Pierce the Cantrosaur bothering with a local salesman. Once the dinosaurs eat the lettuce, their intelligence is increased a hundredfold. This says a lot about the dinosaur economics in this area and how just as much of a play the lettuce have in this new world. We could be looking at the start of some sort of dinosaur utopia, a dinotopia if you were. Remember that? That series was actually a real documentary, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but that took a turn, didn't it, folks? Tune in next week, where we'll be discussing why Brooklyn's hair looks the way it does, and actually how that links to the Scarlett Johansson in the latest movie, Jurassic World Rebirth. Subscribe for the latest Jurassic news, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>